Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about proper horse stance dynamics. Horse stance is one of the oldest ways to train in human history. Basically, if you have no equipment and you're on the side of a mountain, you can do horse stance and drastically improve your athleticism with nothing. You will see something like horse stance, sometimes it's called different things, in almost every culture that has ever had a formalized martial art. And you'll see versions of it in Japanese, Chinese, Indonesian, and European martial arts just off the top of my head. Think of it as standing well and lowering your center of mass so it's harder for you to be picked up and thrown. If you're standing up, usually you're easy to throw. If your body weight is low, you're usually harder to throw. When you're doing attack or defend drills, Bigger steps, less steps are better. You'll see this in modern fencing, big steps are better. That is true in almost every martial art. We're going to demonstrate and talk about a classic Kung Fu lift. If you have nothing, then you put your feet two shoulder widths apart. Feet underneath your shoulders, go out, go out, go out. Feet point generally straight ahead. Tuck your tailbone underneath, draw your abs in sit all the way down, your spine remains vertical. Something that you will see done wrong is you will see people duck their tail out. You will see a curve in their spine. Their glutes are not on and their abs are not on. A roundness in the front of the body. Tuck the tailbone underneath, sit down lower, verticalize the spine. If you wanna know if you're doing it right, add weight to the equation. Step up to your weight, feet go out. Two shoulder widths apart, get close to your weight. Verticalize your spine as much as possible, get down. If your tailbone is back, you will not be able to do this lift. Get close, make your spine vertical, stand all the way up. Get down, drive your knees out, heels flat on the ground, stand all the way up. Straight legs at the top, tailbone tucked, squeeze your glutes. At the bottom, your tailbone stays tucked. Traditionally, this exercise was done with big clay pots. In Kung Fu, in the Shaolin Temple, the idea is that they had a giant pot and you had to be able to pick it up. If your horse stance wasn't good, you could not complete it to complete your training. I like big propane tanks because they're never gonna go bad. And when you fill them up, they get really heavy. You can also do this exercise with a trash can and add sand to it every day. So you can start with just a trash can, which is light, and you could add a cup of sand to it every day until the trash can is full. You should be able to lift several hundred pounds in this position. The hug is essential. It forces you to engage your core. Think of it as a super mean, super old school front squat. If you don't have something like this right now, people practice just the static position. Drive the knees out, get down low, legs parallel to the ground. If you're doing a static stance, most people will start with a one minute hold, but if you practice something like traditional martial arts or Kung Fu, you will hold it for 10 minutes. Something that used to happen in the Kung Fu school that I went to, which was very traditional, is they would light an incense stick and he would go get coffee down the street. And everybody in the room would stay in that position. He would go get coffee and the incense stick would burn down. And if he wasn't back yet, you still stayed there. When you're doing something like this, you can turn it back into strength training and do sets of three to five, or if the weight is light or your tank is generally empty, then you can do as many sets as possible. You could do this exercise for five to 10 minutes nonstop as a time under tension drill. Weight is heavy, low rep, weight is light, like this tank is, then you can do a minute to 90 seconds at a time to five minutes at a time. Training like this is sport specific to being human. Staying alive in martial arts are the oldest sport known to man. As time has gone on, we have lost some of that need because the world has gotten more civilized. That does not mean that these exercises should not be done. In fact, these exercises should be done more than any other exercise. If you don't have a sport, learning self-protection is your sport.